Um, we noticed recently, in particular over the last few years, that more and more drainage systems inside buildings, particularly high-rise and multi-occupancy, are now uh, specified with an acoustic performance requirement. And usually at the moment, uh, standard drainage pipes go in and they put acoustic lagging around it. That's an extra installation step, cost, space that needs to be provided in the shafts. And uh, therefore, acoustic drainage systems are becoming more the choice of um, consultants and, and specifiers. And there's only a few, a handful of acoustic systems really out there. And we found that by talking to the public health engineers, there's a little bit of uh, uh, knowledge that, is, that, is, um, that we need to build up in, in the industry to know what is really important with an acoustic drainage system. This topic is increasingly important within the construction industry as cities are becoming more dense and people are living in closer proximity. So the topic of well-being and uh, public health of occupants is um, a growing concern. I'm a graduate engineer working with Arcadis Consultancy. It was a very honest CPD, so they talked about their, where their success is in their product is and how, how marketable it is, like where it could be suitable. So yeah, I would say that it's a very interesting to learn more about the four processes behind the um, public health drainage design. So I would say that was an interesting takeaway. My name is Richard Kendall. I'm a senior public health engineer at Chapman BDSP. We're based in the City of London and we're working on lots of major projects such as residential and um, commercial projects and we obviously traditionally were specifying cast iron materials and uh, in recent, more in recent years there's been a switch to HDPE pipe work because of the advantages of it being lighter, easier to join and um, basically it's uh, cheaper as well. Since um, incidents such as Grenfell, there have been um, discussions about fire stopping as well. So I just uh, recently heard some concern that um, some of the British, older British testing methods are not applicable to the, to the modern world, you know, to the modern materials. So um, I'm just trying to find out as well some more information on that. OK, I'm Ian Jackson. I'm a public health engineer working for GDM Partnership. I think from public health engineers, from my point of view, it'd be something that obviously from intermediate engineers and obviously junior engineers, it'd be a good thing for them to come along and have a look at, understand how the product works.